Imagine a technology that helps you explore a new area of science. And not only download resources, but learn from leading researchers online. Not with blurry videos, but through animated seminars where you can hear the speaker talk and clearly see his slides. Where you can search for concepts and get right to the point. Imagine having fingertip access to simulation tools that are easy to launch. Tools with intuitive controls that are well documented. And results that are readily visualized. And not just one tool, but dozens of tools that simulate many different phenomena. Tools that are not just Java applets, but real research codes that are connected to national grid resources. If you have questions about the results or the underlying models, imagine being able to ask experts throughout the world. or being able to add your voice to the rest of the community. Imagine a new way of publishing where you can upload your own resources to share with others. to build your reputation or as outreach for your grant. We have a, a new way of thinking about electronic devices. We have a new way of simulating them. And by disseminating courses and instructional material, MATLAB scripts that people can download to see how it works, by allowing people to run simulation programs through the web browser, it's just, it's allowed people to learn these new techniques and it's disseminated it all across the world. I um, have always been, and I always will be, a su big supporter of the NanoHub because I see a great use of it. Uh, every classroom has a projector and a computer. So when I want to demonstrate something like a band structure of silicon, I just go to the NanoHub, log in there, and run the band structure tool. The students can play with these tools and understand better the physical principles. And I didn't find anything like this anywhere else uh, searching through the web. So it's kind of one stop for uh, any person who is interested in knowing about electronics and the latest work being done in that area. Stop imagining. The cyber infrastructure of the future is here today. It's a software package called Hub Zero, which has been powering nanohub.org and serving thousands of users for more than three years. Now, that same software is being used to build hubs for other scientific disciplines.
Hub Zero, the cyber infrastructure of the future, powering science today.